You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and we are back with a reaction to The Last of Us Season 1, Episode 2. And as always, with The Last of Us Reactions, I am joined by my co host, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hi. So we're back. We made it. You survived. We're Head here. We're queer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We didn't give a headphone user warning last week, though. Um, yeah. Just be prepared. Like, if, if you're jumping <laughs> in blind this week, be prepared. It's, maybe take the headphones out before you watch a reaction with us. I don't know. But, you know, it's a fun time around here. Very expressive. Very expressive. I'm going to scream every time Peter Pascal is on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, he's the lead of the show, so it's a lot. Oh, uh, we both really enjoyed that. We're coming from two different places. Hannah has played The Last of Us and The Last of Us 2 like 50 million times at this point in her life over and over. <laughs> Uber fan, knows it all, like crazy person for The I've Last of Us. I've read the comic books, I've played <laughs> Left Behind, like, um. <laughs> yeah, she's all about that life. Me, on the other hand, all of my knowledge comes like second hand through just listening to her and other friends talking about and it. even then surprisingly like talking to you after we watched the first episode even then <laughs> you knew less than i thought you did like Let's... i thought i talked about it with you in length way more <laughs> than i probably have so when we we're, were talking last week he goes oh yeah abby's a lesbian and i go mm. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not <laughs> you know uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a, I have a pretty good a uh, good ear to just tune out when I start seeing all that jumble jumble in the chat. You know, suddenly I can't read. So it just it is what. It is. <laughs> uh, so thankfully, yeah, uh, I I probably have seen a lot more maybe when it comes up in my jog, but I really don't think so honestly. So you know, I I, feel, I still feel fresh as we're going into these episodes. <laughs> Because there's probably a lot of spoilers I have seen, I have heard over the years, and oh. they they didn't stick. So we're good. Episode one left us off. Obviously, we met our our main characters. We met Joel. We met Ellie. The rest of the cast also involved and set us up to go on an adventure. We're gonna go find a brother, a long lost brother. But first. We have to deliver the prize. Little Miss Ellie has to be delivered <laughs> because she's infected. Oh, but is immune. <laughs> so, hey, yeah, she a little infected beach around here. <laughs> Got test shook when she saw that positive reading come up, but it's okay. It's okay. They they, they didn't like kill her on the spot. <laughs> this episode is called Infected, actually. Oh, Ellie, take the center stage, girl. <laughs> Yeah, we're heading into the Inception City uh, up ahead. We've got buildings falling upon each other and ish. We got some little beasts already and background windows in our ears and ish. <laughs> so... There was actually a clicker in that shot, um, but it was like on one of the other buildings and someone had to like zoom in and like be like, Ooh. oh my God, it's there. The details. There was... The little detail. I'm expecting. Okay, it's called Infected. I'm expecting some some more zombie-ish stuff and these these clickers, these little beasts to be popping out, obviously. I don't know if we're going to run the gambit of like the lightly infected to, you know, full-blown beast, as Alyssa Edwards would say, <laughs> or what we're going to do here, I don't know. I'm expecting, and if you're going to put it as infected, are we going to get some more horror tinge? Is this going to return us to the, the like, <laughs> thriller horror as we go through oh. places and um this episode is directed by the director of the games uh neil Druckmann. Oh. hey <laughs> he's heavily involved in the whole series so you know yes he co-wrote the entire series with Frank mason so is this his he's di directed television before right i don't think so no okay so this no. will be his directorial debut on tv film all that kind of fun jazz so Let's see. Exciting. Does he have a future? Or are we going to boot his ass back to the video game world? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and jump into episode two. Uh oh, I see a brief uh, nudity. Oh! <laughs> Did we go? 
<laughs> hey. I'm sitting here asking about Pedro Pascal. I know it's not Pedro Pascal. He wouldn't even take off his shirt in the first episode. <laughs> oh, we're doing another flashback. What year did it say? 2003. Okay. All right. Indonesia. Is this where it began? They they named the city, right, in the first episode? Yeah. And I think it was the capital of Indonesia. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to have a peaceful meal. Was there mushrooms on that plate? <laughs> so I assume we're doing some more origin. To the disease? Of the infection. Yeah. These are all just so Craig Mazin. Like, his DNA <laughs> is all over these parts of the show. Which isn't a bad thing. I adore Chernobyl, so. Cordyceps. And now. Yo, if you feel sick, we gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> uh. Oh my god, that's off. That's disgusting. <gasps> oh my god. That just gave me chills, dude. Suddenly, I'm over here watching Dr. Pimple Popper. Like, blood would have been less disgusting. Ooh. Ooh. If she pulls oh, fungus out of her throat, I'm gonna cry. I don't I hate this. Oh no, it's the tendrils! Oh no! Who is still alive, ma'am? Oh my god. Oh, uh, I hate it. I hate it. Ew! Oh, damn. That just, that literally gave me, like, a full, like, body reaction. <laughs> I hated it. Uh, anyone that doesn't know, uh, the game never goes into any sort of detail on the, uh, the infection. Like, explicitly, at least. It would be in, like, little notes you find or, like, recordings. But never anything like this. I wonder if like anti-vaxxers would take a vaccine if like we were in something like this. If they thought tendrils literally coming out of folks' mouth. It's not real. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, ma'am. He said that, the uh, guy in the beginning of the first episode. Do you understand how shook I would be if an expert like that said that straight to my face? Girl. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Let's calm down. Whoa. <laughs> Well, let's not commit genocide. <laughs> like, let's calm down. <laughs> Damn. Um, oh, well. This actress is incredible, by the way. Yeah, she's great. Oh, that just made me tear up. <laughs> oh, man, that was a lot. Damn, these medical openings. <laughs> Yeah. Why did she just go straight to bomb the whole thing? <laughs> like straight to genocide. Like there was no like containment but no, she said just bomb it all perfectly. <laughs> I love this intro by the way. Yes. It's very Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, I was like the music, this amazing animation. Oh, so good. I I really just cannot stress how happy I am that they kept the same composer as the games. 
Because that music is just so iconic. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. My Ellie! <laughs> <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> oh, get the gun off me now! <laughs> you sick old Blind man. Brad, chill. She found me after I was bitten. And she didn't shoot you. Clearly not. She would walk me up and have a guy text me every day to see if I was. To me, test you. Make me count to ten and hold out my hand and then keep it steady. But you know, I think what really impressed him was the fact that I didn't turn into a fucking monster. Now, can I please? That's my daughter. There's not gonna be anything bad in here. Okay. Just you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll heal fast. Their hope. You need to stop talking about this kid like she's got some kind of life in front of her. Ooh. I hate him. I hate him. One thing about me when it comes to Ellie, I don't give a fuck about Joel. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> Leave her alone. Don't you see she's fine? Marlene sent me with my room. Is that chicken? Yep. Marlene said they get it from smugglers. Guess not you guys. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> oh, she, oh, she is jealous over that chicken. <sighs> Joe and I aren't good people. We're doing Shut this up. Because if you're <laughs> you're worth something. But we don't know what you're worth. I'm just trying not to tell anybody that I'm trying to hurt people. Or... I love her. If she so much as twitches. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> they are literally Ellie. Okay. Like, I don't give a fuck. Anyone who still is raising their tongue against them is just stupid. Can I have a gun? Absolutely no. not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. War flashbacks and having to do that in the game. <laughs> oh, look at this production design. Whoa. Yeah, it's different in the daylight, huh? I'm just like getting emotional because like it's it's my alley. Oh god, I'm crying really bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is this a lot for me. <laughs> oh man. They just got it really right. Yeah. They hit most of the big cities like this. They had to slow the spread somehow. They just bombed places for no damn reason. So the state yeah, man, the production design is spot on. So I mean, it's incredible itself, but it's like yeah. completely spot on to the game. Yeah. So it was just you in there alone? Yeah. How old are you? Fourteen. Mm. Wow. Well, I mean, you got some balls on you, sister. <laughs> this is a much softer test than what we have in the game, and I really enjoy that. Obviously, she's still a badass and independent. Nobody's but... gonna be coming after you, right? So there aren't super infected that explode fungus spores on you? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the ones who split open heads that see in the dark like bats? <laughs> well, ah! we didn't say all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that the animals more or less are out here thriving and surviving. You know. You know. These little I mean, ducks just living their wouldn't, lives. Wouldn't they be, though, in, in an apocalypse? Mm -hmm. Probably. You the, figured, the right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the ants might be screwed from what we heard earlier in the first yeah. episode, but I don't know. I don't even know what this is. Have you heard of books? 
<laughs> he just be reading. <laughs> Gagging her bad. Gagging him. Oh. Do you think we have pools in the QC? No, smart ass. I don't know how else. I fucking hate him. Oh my god. Watch your fucking tone. Asshole. I hate him in an appreciative way. This is so Joel. <laughs> man, right away, man. You're a weird kid. You're a weird kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just scared me so bad. <laughs> well, they're bonding. <laughs> Wasn't that bad? You try climbing some fucking floors with our knees. She's like, bitch, I'm old. Shut up. <laughs> I've seen life. <laughs> yeah. The framing of the show, like all the shots and stuff, is really good. Lighting's wonderful. Where'd you learn to do that? The circus. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> Texas. Mm -hmm. What about Tess? Detroit. It's in Michigan. I go to school. I know where Detroit is. <laughs> It's really <laughs> Man, the chemistry is so good. Tess knew. <laughs> Don't shoot me, bitch. Oh. Oh, those are. Oh. I didn't realize that those were uh, so infected. Funny. The last time we were here, yeah. I was still deep inside the buildings. They're connected. More than you know. You step on a patch of cordyceps in one place, and you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else. Now they know where you are. Oh. Now they come. And oh. From being ripped apart. That's new. You understand? Huh? It's important. I'm trying to keep you alive. I really love this test. What do we do then? Short way? Oh, oh my. <laughs> Everyone knows what this means. Everyone who has played the game <laughs> knows what this means. <laughs> I die so ferociously every single time I do this encounter in the game. It's fucking ridiculous. Ooh, look at that. Like the... <sighs> Oh, 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 oh. I hate it. Well, then I guess it's fine. A museum seems like oh, a terrible place to be going through. Um, lots of, of these, things to hide, lots of obstacles okay. <laughs> in museums. <laughs> More ground rules. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Yo, that, shot. that whole like <gasps> if you step on a fungus shit has me like nervous i know <laughs> that was not a thing in the games <laughs> man that shit all over looks so gross <gasps> they oh yeah he was over there touching it and stuff i'm like finally some fucking how do we know Oh. Maybe he was a dead dumb sign. You crawled through the door mm. to see if any door was open. I, I doubt it. Yes. I hate this so bad. I hate it so bad. Really, what the Bostonian Museum is like? Looking a little rickety. Even before I had this fun guy. <laughs> Damn stairs. <gasps> oh! 
Now that set design is nuts. It's crazy. That <laughs> shot is crazy. <laughs> she didn't mean it. <laughs> it's the tendrils. It's ooh. <laughs> Anybody home? <gasps> oh no. What the hell? There goes being silent. <laughs> Shit, you ain't gotta worry about the damn infected. You gotta worry about this Fuck. infrastructure. Ooh. Those noises are so... They got it down. They got the noises down. Oh, my Ellie. Back to the wall, girl. Back to the wall. <gasps> Fuck! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate this. I hate it. 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 Oh, shit. This buildup is so good. You're getting closed in on from all types of ways, y'all. Fuck! That, no, I got chills. Oh my god! Oh, ah! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Come on, girl! Fuck! Oh my god! Oh shit! Come on, Joel! Oh! This is crazy! <gasps> oh my god, that shot! Whoever these actors are, are doing incredible <laughs> jobs, by the way. And the prosthetic and makeup team on point. Oh, excellent. Ooh, I don't like this shot. I don't like that it's closing yeah. in. I hate it. Oh, fuck. <sighs> <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Hey, this was the first image that they released in the show. <laughs> <gasps> oh, shit. Fuck! <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, Ooh. my God, the tendrils! The tendrils! Oh, there we go. <gasps> Fuck, fuck. Number two. All right, come on, girl. And you got more ammo. Reload. Oh, okay. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they they killed it, literally. Are we sure there are only two of the beaches in here? My pants. I mean, if it was going to happen to one of us. <laughs> Ellie, I think it's a little too early to start making them jokes. <laughs> they still, they still are on your side, girl. You lucky they didn't shoot you right then and there. Maybe we could actually win. Yes, it's tired of the bullshit. I don't blame her. <laughs> <laughs> but man, you can't depend on you. Oh, let's straight from the game. <laughs> it's the music. The music's killing me, man. Watching her like a hawk. Cool shot. I wonder if these are blue screen or not. Yeah, some of it I think has to be. Yeah. 
and you can't I mean, tell. It's seamless. Yeah, yeah. The way they this is good, like green screen, blue screen effect work. Ooh, the Ooh. blood. I yeah, know, gnarly. That's kind of sick. Ooh, the flies. That's, Ooh, always what, that's oh. what starts really getting me. The, imagine the smell. Ooh. Oh, it's fresh. Oh? Do we have to go in here? <gasps> the healthy ones fought the sick ones, everyone lost. Right? So, can you help me? No. Tess, oh? it's over. We are going home. This is not my fucking home! Oh? Our luck had to run out sooner or later. <sighs> She's infected. Yeah. Oh. Dialogue straight from the game. Take your pants. <gasps> this is real. Your shit's fucking real. I need you to get her to Bill and Frank's. No. They'll take her your hands and handle her through here. No, 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 I can't. They're, gonna take her. They're not gonna take they her. They will, cause you'll convince them. This is your chance. <laughs> so get her. You keep her alive. And you set everything right. Oof. Damn tendrils. It's the gr it's the fungus in the ground. Oof. Oh shit. Oh, no, oh no, that no, was no, excellent! No, 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 no. Oh that my god, excellent. and here they come. That was an excellent transition. Holy shit. Okay, time to stop talking and run. We gotta go. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, shit. Like, now, now. I hate oh. saying goodbye to Tess so early. Is Tess gonna, like, take him on herself? Is she gonna find a bomb? Oh, what or do, do this. Making sure that they don't follow you. Tess, I fucking love you! Oh, say goodbye to her. You say her, you can say me. Oh. oh. <laughs> Fuck. No, we're not leaving her. Get off of you. Fuck her. I'm not going with you. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Come on, girl. Shit, pull one of those grenades or something. Fuck, even that spark should. Yeah, no, 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 no. Ooh. Ain't no fucking way I would have let him do that even if I was infected. Oh my Thank god. god. Tess, you're a fucking real one. That got me even worse than it did in the game. Fuck, I got chills. I'm gonna cry again. <sighs> <gasps> oh my god, I'm crying. Just cuz. Oh, well, that was episode two. It was a lot. 
a lot happened in that episode. We got the clickers. We got them up close and very personal. This episode, they looked sick. That entire sequence in that museum was amazing. It's like exact what I was hoping for from an episode called The Infected. Just nice, horror, (laughs) tense drama throughout. Am I insane to say that I think I like that episode more than the pilot? Ooh. <laughs> I don't I don't know. That like that really got me emotionally like yeah. bad. And the pilot got me emotionally bad too. But I think it was just the pilot was trying it was me it just didn't feel real yet. And this definitely it just felt straight from the games and just while adding so much more. I mean, especially between um ellie and joel because during this time in the game um it's it's a very gameplay heavy section so you don't really get that much downtime with joel and ellie and i mean here you have so many just great conversations and little one-liners and i i cried a lot when uh we finished that first little scene with ellie just because Bella's getting it so right and I'm gonna cry again just talking about it um Bella's getting it so right and it just it means a lot to me that um my one of my favorite characters of all time is being and I, have to, I have to say Bella this is such a different portrayal because I've really only seen Bella in this and in Game of Thrones that's all I'm familiar with them in and this is such a different character than Liana Mormont um, through and through. Like that was a you know very stern character, also a little badass. Like you know they're gonna play a badass if they're gonna do something, but just such a different character. And to see her like transform for this role has been really great. And and we really got to see them show off their acting chops a little bit more in this one than we got in the first episode. But Tess, episode two. Um, again, I, I, I didn't know anything about the game, so I didn't know that Tess was going to die at all. Um, <clears throat> nevertheless, so early in our journey. <laughs> Larry, uh, he, before we got off our podcast for our first episode of P-S-I-T-L-O-U, uh, he said over on Sid Mania, you can check it out. Um, <laughs> he said, I can't wait to see what uh, Ellie, Tess, and Joel get up to. And I immediately texted Dwayne and I was like, mm. <laughs> yeah. and I texted, I texted Larry and I go, Hey, I need to show you a text next week. <laughs> yeah, uh, I definitely at the very least thought she was gonna last longer than two episodes. So, um, it's very quick in the game, it's within the first two hours <sighs> of the game. So expecting this. I thought I thought they were gonna be a little threesome for at least a while. <laughs> uh, but no. a good job by the show in really investing you in a character that you've only known for two episodes and yeah. making you, you know, feel that sacrifice that she made and uh making that the impactful moment that it was in this episode. So I mean, even before she was infected, she was so just obviously Joel has a huge wall up and I don't think that Tess is that easy to you know get to either but she was definitely more soft with Ellie and she took the time to talk to her and talk her through at least what you know she needed to prepare to see Uh, even that little moment outside of the hotel where she like explained you know you got to be prepared for this and it was a a very nice little moment Uh, it's a softer test that we see in the game and I, yeah. I really love this change. Yeah, I mean, it was good advice. She's like, girl, you might be immune, but you're not immune from yeah. being ripped up. Like, you can still die. Don't get <laughs> twisted. <laughs> I can't believe Ellie's already been bit again. <laughs> <laughs> that did not happen. She's bit once in the first game. Like, so wait, when that happened, already got bit again? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess it gives a little bit of extra proof for Joel to be like, okay, yeah, sure, she's immune. <laughs> So, oh, girl, got it good again. Because we saw her ankle get hurt, but I, you know, I guess I just didn't have reason to believe she had gotten bitten uh, until <laughs> that moment in the whatever courthouse building that was. Actually, yeah, sorry. a bit different in the game. Uh, it's Ellie and Tess get separated from Joel in the museum. And then when they come back, that's like when you assume that Tess got bit when you find out the test is bit that you're like oh that's 
you know, because obviously you're playing as Joel, so you don't yeah. know what's going on when you're separated from her. Well, you mentioned we had a few changes from the game here in this episode. Once again, two times in a row, we start with the kind of cold open about the past and exploring this disease. And I've really liked both of them. I thought the the first episode was amazing with that, like, just talk show cold <laughs> open. And I thought this episode was pretty amazing with the scientist. Uh, it was a really chilling view. <laughs> And as you said, that actress killed it. It was excellent. I mean, the whole, the body horror just in general throughout the whole show is so fucking good. I mean, actors killed it. That were those clickers. I can't stress just how uh, happy I am that we went with magical makeup and we have actual actors making decisions. Uh, That's the thing. It's like, uh, sure, CGI can look cool and yeah. you know it might even look better than the practical who fucking knows you know it's art- artists can do it or, can do anything mm-hmm. but the thing is what you can't change is people in that makeup making decisions yeah. actual actors you know so i'm i'm so fucking glad that we made that decision and then we've talked about obviously the tendrils being the new thing for the show the change from the yeah. game to the show and they added that extra bit of lore about them all being like fungi and plants and literally being like interconnected in a network like plants are um and if you hurt one somewhere or step on it somewhere it sends out the like signal to the rest of its network and to have that callback happen that quickly <laughs> was an amazing callback. And seeing those little tendrils come up oh, out of the grass to like feel the the dead zombie, I was like, oh hell no, this is nasty, but also cool. But you like that change? I mean, yeah, okay. So when I first heard that we were getting rid of spores and that we were uh, replacing them with tendrils i was like i don't really get it yet um but i have an open mind it's just spores is just such a huge thing in the games um like you're wearing gas masks a lot of the game uh and it's it's there's a moment uh there's a lot of moments with ellie in the games where it's really cool to just see her uh going around the spores not having to wear a mask and just breathing it and being fine <laughs> But yeah, uh, with the tendrils, like, it just, it adds so much, like, body horror, like we were talking about. Something that spores definitely couldn't do. I think spores could be cool visually, but you just, you can't get those moments like you do, like, with the fucking um, inf- infected coming up to test and just, <laughs> yeah, you can't do that with spores. So I, I, so far, I'm really li- loving the change. It's adding a lot uh, to the horror, at least. But any last thoughts on episode two, Hannah? I think yeah i think i like that episode more than the pilot um i love the pilot but that episode just gave me that buzz man I, i'm i'm fucking ready to go see uh bill and frank by the way i'm so excited for bill and frank yeah i loved that episode it definitely was a little bit more forward moving maybe i mean i think maybe that's it is like uh, it felt a little bit more forward moving than a lot of the first one which had to set up a lot of stuff obviously um Oh, yeah, that was a great episode. It has me like hyped right now. Like, you know, you kind of leave that ending hyped yeah. and ready. You're like, okay, time to press play. Great final screen. shot, by the way. Awesome <laughs> final shot. And yeah, as we've mentioned, the set design, the prosthetics and makeup work, the cinematography, the lighting. I mean, again, you expect it from HBO because they have money. And usually when they when they go big, they usually do it better than anybody else <laughs> in the television game. Let's just be real. But it's all just top tier like from every technical aspect of film or television making it's just amazing it looks amazing (laughs) but that was our reaction and quick discussion of season one episode two of the last of us i hope you all enjoyed it if you did go ahead click like down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos, including each and every one of our reactions to The Last of Us. Hannah, do you want to let people know where they can find you? Eric Hannah on Twitter. And you can find both of us over on the Cinemania World podcast, where we are doing a more in-depth look at each and every episode. And I talked about it earlier. So make sure to head over there for more deep and 
the introspective thoughts with a few of our cinemaniacs on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Also, we want to hear your thoughts. What did you think of episode two? Let us know either in the comment section down below, or you can hit us up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.